Welcome everyone to another Observability Lab. Today we're talking about Power Connect for SAP on Dynatrace. I've invited Daniel because I met him a couple of weeks ago when he was presenting Power Connect uh, at an event and I was really excited to see how they're bringing in the data into Dynatrace, the different use cases and the different personas that benefit from it. But I want to hear it from Daniel. Daniel, thank you first of all so much for being here. Please quickly explain what is Power Connect, why and what type of data goes into Dynatrace and what are the use cases that you really enable by bringing this data into Dynatrace versus just having it in SAP. Okay, thank you, Andreas. Thank you very much for being here. My name is Daniele Pfingstag and I'm pre-sales consultant at Software One for Power Connect. And why should you consider Power Connect for SAP on Dynatrace? The very important topic beforehand, many of you are using SAP solutions and SAP usually is the data gold mine. Um, when we are speaking uh, to our customer, um, we identify that they are uh, in their SAP systems, they store all of the business critical information. And we need this information um, to be transparent and available to be correlated with other um, data coming from other solutions because non-business process starts and ends uh, in SAP and has touched no other application. And here, Power Connect and Dynatrace comes into the game because we can extract all of the high fidelity um, telemetry data that sits in your SAP system and send this data to Dynatrace where we can understand and monitor this data and also add it into your change ITSM change management system uh, uh, process. We can correlate it with data coming from third non-SAP non systems and we can identify root causes or um, patterns in your data with the AI functionalities that come from Dynatrace in order to identify patterns that occur um, more um, repeatedly in your IT environment in order to bring and secure your system that it's always available. And how does this look like in a typical um, use case? So when we, when we position Power Connect, we have that we have the Power Connect app from uh, installed from the Dynatrace hub. Mm -hmm. And this app uh, contains all of the out of the box content that Power Connect delivers to your organization. So we say that almost 80% of your monitoring um, use cases are already covered with the out of the box content. And we usually start our investigations and monitoring with a system overview where we see which resources are utilized, what, activity, what activities are currently ongoing in your system, so which processes are, uh, are running, which users are successfully or not successfully trying to log into your system, and which networks packages are, um, uh, are shared with or uh, with SAP systems or um, with third party applications. And from here, we can identify the system that needs more attention. And once we have identified in, in all, uh, for example, our ID8 system as the system where we need to dig, dig deeper into the data, we can quickly open um, additional dashboards that give us more details on what we just saw. So again, we see the, the resource utilizations, but we, we have more, we, we see also the work process, the SAP work processes, for example, batch dialogue spool, and the, uh, what resources they use to, they use to be executed. And here we see the different um, uh, processes and we also see them over time. So we can uh, identify immediately patterns uh, for example, month end closing, um, that we have more dialogue uh, work processes, or we, we have more um, spools why, because we, we extract more data from the system. But we also have basic health checks, for example, failed jobs, um, all of the messaging, so your uh, asynchronous or synchronous uh, messaging between SAP and non-SAP systems is, monitor, is monitored and can be um, um, analyzed. And what also is very important, 
we 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 not we are not only business process monitoring or performance uh, specific we also provide information to security so how many clients are open for change are there any system traces um, 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 available and, and set up so all of the security relevant data is also um, sent to Dynatrace and because we just mentioned that here we have a typical security overview so we see uh, for example users with standard passwords so you can configure standard passwords and we 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 already ship power connect out with a list of standard passwords like one two three four five six and you see which users are using that in order to uh in order to do the trinity of security you see that your system sits on a stable foundation, it's configured and all the patches from SAP are installed. You see, for example, things like that, that, um, that your users apply all the security um, frameworks and guidelines you set up so, so, the, so that you can um, control that your system to the inside is secured. And we also see if, um, if your system is attacked from the outside. So we identify, for example, um, um, users that try to open transactions that fail because they do not have the, uh, the necessary authorizations, which could be an uh, indication that uh, um, an account was uh, was hijacked and is now used to to extra uh, to to extra ex exfiltrate data from your system, and we can go even into more detail so when we when we now know our system is available which processes are uh, are running and our system is secured we can go into detail so what is actually happen happening on the system so so which background jobs are running mm -hmm. um, and which user is kicking off these background jobs so is it a system user is it a is it a real user an end user and um, why are um, um, processes failing or jobs failing and which application servers are um, stable or unstable. So all of that from um, this dashboard. And if I go even, even more into the data, I also have all of the information from my infrastructure here. So I mm -hmm. see all of my database uh, utilization or resource utilizations. I see um, uh, CPU utilization of my database. So I can have a 360 degree view from the availability or from the overview of the system to the to the actual database. And it doesn't matter if it's a HANA database or an Oracle or an SQL database, we have um, uh, dashboards for all of these databases. And, and this, I think this makes the story complete is we also have out of the box uh, dashboards to monitor your um, so your synchronous and asynchronous messaging. So all of the IDOCs that are coming in and are transferred into transactions in your system. And you can identify, for example, IDOCs that are slowing down the process or they can't be processed because there are, there's any error within the IDOC, missing information, for example. And all of this we can do from with our dashboards, but because we have dashboards where we can see messages coming out from a system, so the source system, which are flowing via X, SXMB money into your system, into your um, ABAP IDA system here, and we see which messages um, 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 causing errors and where our users then need to dig in to identify the root cause and solving this problem one time for the future and not every time um, they need to fix the same issues again. And this is where we want to bring our customers. We want to go away from react, reactive firefighting to proactive solution findings or even predictive monitoring. So in the DAC region with Dynatrace, we have a customer that current that now in, in this very second can see what will happen in their um, in their SAP systems from a performance per perspective in 15 minutes. And this with a, a almost 90% certainty. So here there for this customers, the end users don't see any system disruptions because the team can 
predict this and can solve these issues before they occur. Wow. Daniel, I, I kept quiet because I'm always excited when people are excited about the things that they are passionate about. And you clearly did an amazing job in walking us through. So if I recap this, Dynatrace, and that's what we want to be, right? We want to be the central observability hub with Grail, where all of the data of our customers' system flows in. SAP mm -hmm. always used to be a black box. Thanks to Power Connect from Software One, we can now get the data from SAP. And you showed us performance, infrastructure, business. Uh, I also liked your, your database insights. All of this goes into Dynatrace. And it does two things for me, right? You can leverage the automated anomaly detection. You can get alerted. You can use the forecasting, but you can also connect this data with your other adjacent system because in most enterprises, SAP is not the only system that you use. You're connecting it with all of your other systems that in, allow you to do your end-to-end -end business uh, processing. And uh, so thank you so much for this. Now I have... Um, yeah, one you raising your finger. What I, do you want to say? Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I, I just want to say uh, that this is a perfect summary, and I, um, I want to add that we come away from siloed monitoring, right? So we, we always speak with, we, we often speak with customers, not always, but often we speak with customers that are focused on SAP monitoring, but. Our idea is not SAP monitoring; it's end-to-end -end monitoring, mm -hmm. and SAP plays one crucial role. And Andreas, you made it perfect, but Power Connect is the tool to connect the, the different worlds. That's also why it's a great name, Power Connect, connecting two powerhouses. Uh, Daniel, to close this off, can you, I know you are listed on the Dynatrace Hub, so this is where mm -hmm. people can find more information, the link to the hub, and there's also blog posts will all be in the video. But mm -hmm. can, you, can we end with a quick architectural overview? Because some people may are now wondering, how does this really work? I know you explained it a little bit, but I think mm. you have some architectural slides that would be great to walk through. Perfect, yes. Thank you, Andreas, for this question. Um, yes, I have prepared two slides because um, we have um, two different ways to uh, install and configure, uh, to install Power Connect. The first way is for our NetWeaver, ABAP, and Java uh, systems. So. One thing I want to highlight uh, at the beginning for us, it doesn't matter what kind of SAP system you are using and where you host it. So we are certified for all major SAP uh, solutions that are currently in mainstream support. And we are also uh, um, certified for all of your um, private cloud or former RISE um, uh, systems that sits uh, in, 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 in sub-private cloud. So we are certified for that as well. And how does it work? For NetWeaver ABAP, it's a classic SAINT installation that you will perform locally. And for Java uh, uh, Software Update Manager um, installation of the Power Connect certified add-on. Once this add-on is installed in your SAP system, um, you can configure it so you decide which data needs to, to be sent or pushed out to Dynatrace and in which frequency you can also um, ex exclude data, for example, mm -hmm. employer, employee or customer names. And then you, you, we connect, Power Connect with, with your Dynatrace cluster and you, you can decide to send your SAP di data directly to, to, to your Dynatrace cluster or via ActiveGate as middleman if you choose a direct uh, co connection to Dynatrace, the old Dynatrace, the only infrastructural change is an outbound firewalls clear clearance port 443. If you choose ActiveGate as as uh, your middleman or your data collector, then it's uh, um, port uh, 9999. And once you did that um, and you sent data to um, to Dynatrace, all of the features and functions uh, Dynatrace as a platform provides Grail, Davis AI, and anomaly detection is available, but also our pre-built content, meaning over 1,700 KPIs in 360 dashboards. And because SAP is not only ABAP and Java, SAP also has SaaS solutions like BTP, SuccessFactors, or Ariba. Here, we can't install anything on this uh, cloud solutions 
we need a, a, a middleman, a virtual machine in this case, and it needs uh, this virtual machine can be set up in in your infrastructure. It needs to be a small virtual machine, um, which has one requirement, which is that Java is running on that virtual machine. We install Power Connect, connect it again with um, your SaaS solutions, and then the 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 process. Um, to Dynatrace is again the same, the firewalls clearance 443 for direct uh, um, integration or uh, 999 if you are using uh, ActiveGate. Cool. So this is it. And just in summary, because you now saw the architecture, what is uh, wh what does this mean for you and your teams? PowerConnect is um, a, a quick and easy installation and setup. We see customers up and running um, and monitoring their, their uh, uh, SAP systems already after two to three hours, which means it's not a typical um, yeah, implementation project. It's a fast and easy uh, way to get started. Cool. I repeat again what I said earlier, Power Connect, connecting two powerhouses, the Power Connect component by Software One is pulling data from SAP, very easy, very easy to set up and pushing it to Dynatrace. You have a ready to go Dynatrace app and also many dashboards. You're ingesting this data into Dynatrace, which means that data is available for everything in Dynatrace. Mm. Daniel, and yeah. If I can just add to that, it's truly what Dynatrace tells you, you see your business like never before. Okay. This is really the, the, the bottom line, what PowerConnect and Dynatrace can do for you and your uh, business. Thank you. That was a great closing statement. And uh, Daniel, thank you so much for doing this. And uh, I'm pretty sure we'll have you back because there's always stuff coming out, new dashboards, new use cases. See you the next time. Thank you, Andreas. See you soon.